Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. Today is Health Tuesday, and on Tuesdays, we bring you topics and guests that will inform you about your physical, mental, and emotional health. Today, we're looking at two bean-like shaped organs located on the left and the right side of the body called kidneys. And we have a specialist with kidney solution. His name is Dr. Okore Chukukar David, who will be talking to us about the care of the kidney. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, too. Nice oh, to have you on Hello Nigeria. Great to have you. Thanks for coming, Thank Doctor. You. So why particular interest in kidneys? There are different parts of the body. Why did you choose a particular interest in kidneys? Oh, well, um, I believe that the kidneys, they, they form a central point in, 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 in someone's um, health, in the sense that everything, every blood, every, every, all the blood in your body tends to go through the kidneys. It is like the filter. It tends to remove all the toxins. Everything, every food you take, every drug you take, every, I mean, everything is, they're all chemicals and somehow, somehow the kidneys tend to help, you know, remove, remove all the things that shouldn't be in your body. So, I mean, okay, where I work, I actually work in a renal dialysis center and also a kidney care center. So we tend to see the worst of the, I mean, the worst of, the, of, of them all. And I see people that have end stage renal, renal failure and you now understand how important those two small, or those, mm -hmm. you know, not small ones, they're like, the size of a fist, but I mean, how important they are because without your kidneys, it's just normally before dialysis came, the lifespan of someone with a um, renal failure was two, two to four weeks. Wow. wow. So yeah. it's irreversible. Largely irreversible. Except well, unless you get a transplant. Unless you get a transplant. So how do we prevent? Because when someone gets to an end stage, mm -hmm. you know, as um, you know, there are five stages, stage one to that stage five, what we call end stage renal failure. Wow. So what do you need to do? What kind of lifestyle do you need to adopt to prevent this from happening? Uh, okay, well... And they um, say you can live on one kidney. Oh, pretty much. Yes. Yeah, some people are actually born with one kidney, you know. Oh, wow. really? Yeah, they don't know until they do a scan. And I'm like, wow, I only have one, you know. Um, it's a, 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 what to do, what not to do. is actually a long talk. But, um, okay, truth is, if you want to, if you understand where the whole kidney problem, I mean, what, what could lead to a kidney problem, can you have to avoid them? Um, I know we're, we're more concerned about five, um, diabetes, hypertension, toxic nephropathy, that's um, all them bobo niche that they sell in the market. Oh, yes. All these agbo jedi jedi, you know. So they cause kidney failure, all these things yeah. that we buy and we think we're addicted Yeah, and the government ourselves. should really clamp because there's a huge proliferation of those things everywhere. It's amazing. I see them around and, yeah. you know, I see NAVDAC registration number and I wonder, mm. you know. <laughs> Then there's drug nephropathy. That's for those that take chronic painkillers. And um, and I mean, uh, did you look at me? So I'm looking at you <laughs> because there's some people who like to self-medicate and take painkillers all mm. the time. I don't yeah. take painkillers all the time. Just <laughs> rarely. Okay, I'm not, I'm not in between this. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, go ahead. Okay, okay please, and go then ahead. there is um, okay infections. You know, and these are the top. I mean, I like to call them top five. But then there are also people that. Unfortunate to have some congenital reason, you know, they are, I mean, eventually they would have a kidney problem, whether, even if they live right, you know. Hereditary? Yeah, some of them are hereditary, some of them, actually, most of them, some are hereditary and some happen later in your life, that, that there's one that, that came to mind, these um, polycystic kidneys, you know, it could happen to someone that is 30, it doesn't happen in children, you know, they have no control over that, it's going to happen, you know, and you just have to, but for a normal person, um, that is not hypertensive. Now, if you're hypertensive, the idea is to take your drugs, all right? Mm. Leave a very, I mean, they are, uh, but your lifestyle modifications, reduce your salt intake, you know. The, I don't know if, I, I, for me, it's like the common things, but I don't know what I'll say, the common things. Oh, no, no, they are not common. I'm saying, say because them. some people are not aware. Okay. So reduce your salt intake. Okay, reduce your salt intake, stick to your meds. I mean, um, I like to say that um, hypertension is something called the silent killer in the sense that you never really know it is bad until it's too late. So most people always wait till maybe I have a headache or my, chest, my heart is beating so funny, you know, but the very few people actually check to know, okay, my value or my, 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 my blood pressure range is within normal, you know. So if someone actually has that, um, that uh, attitude of, you know, monitoring his or her blood pressure, it would actually help. Then, okay, stick to your meds. Now your diet, too, for, not you, the person. Person's diet actually. Um, obviously, we we, all, we like to say avoid fried things in total. You know, if you have to take chicken, remove the back. You know, take the lean meat. That's the lean. Yeah, that's the lean chicken. You understand? Avoid red meat. Fish is preferable. Called fish oils. Now, for a diabetic, uh, we try to encourage them to, I mean, eat right too and, and take their meds. You know. Um, 
can also monitor their blood sugar. Uh, if for people that have chronic or that have long long standing issues that need painkillers, always see a doctor. You know, there are other painkillers that are not um, not just may not just painkillers. Also, other nephrotoxic drugs. You know, which are good but they have a side effect. Uh, there. Natural, because a lot of people, out of ignorance, they'll say, oh, uh, Western medicine has side effects, like you were okay. telling people now to avoid, only if it's extremely necessary. Are there natural options to this? To, uh, um, I, I'm going to be careful what I say, mm. because, you know, <laughs> people always tend to give their own interpretation to anything that the doctor says. Um, I wouldn't say that there is a natural, there is a natural thing to do. that would help. Fruits that yeah. would help. You can eat fruits normally, eat mm. your normal fruits. But the thing now, I think we are talking about people that do not have to worry about the kidneys. You know, like I said, there are five stages in chronic kidney disease. Someone's in the stage one, stage two, you can literally live, you can mm. eat anything. In the stage three, you start, you, I mean, we recommend them to start coming for clinic, you know, so we can monitor you because actually it for them becomes a downhill um, progression. Then someone gets to stage four, of course, the person cannot have all the fruits mm. because then your kidney function should be ranging between. I don't want to call it 40%. I it's, it's, um, think it's um, 30 to 15 milliliters per meal, but let me just use percentage to make mm -hmm. it easier to understand. Now, the thing that I'd like to mention this also, that um, the kidneys are so resilient in the sense that you really don't know that you have a kidney problem till it's too late. That's, I mean, mm -hmm. very few people are very cautious to look at it. They'll say, if your urine is for me, then you need to see a doctor. How many people look at look to know my mm -hmm. urine was for me yesterday? You know, ah, I peed, and it was for me. Nah, it's not more now. Do you understand? Yeah. Then maybe they start, maybe they, start, uh, they, they go to, they start feeling dizzy or um, start vomiting and they start having hiccups. Then I mean, the person is already, those are part of the telltale signs that, oh, this person is actually having, um, a, 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 a person is probably having um, an end stage renal failure or something like that. So then you know, end stage. Rush to that's Just that's the bad part. Hiccups and um, hiccups and vomiting. Okay, the thing, the the the, the um, symptoms we tend to look out for: um, persistent hiccups, um, vomiting, loss of appetite, um, and for then start to start feeling the generalized weakness. Uh, then I think when they when they go do a blood test, their blood level is low. You know, hmm. I, I could explain that the kidneys tend to secrete something that tells your body to make more red blood cells. If they are sick, your body doesn't know that red blood cells are going down. So they just check and, oh, my PCV is 22. Now, it should be, the least should be 35 for a normal person. You know, say so it's 22. And then that's a random they kidney test. And so kidney how test. often would you, because Nigerians in, generally, in general would never go to the hospital only if there's a problem. So how often do you recommend a general checkup? A complete Once every six months. Wow. And this general checkup we're talking about with regards to kidneys, is there a particular way they get checked? Is it like via a blood test or do they have to insert some some device inside your body? Uh, no. Okay. Um, that's the, the, like you said, the basic ones, the basic tests you should do. One is you, you do what we call a urinalysis, take a sample of urine and just check. Mm -hmm. Now there's some things you would see when you, when you come in. The kidneys help to filter the blood to remove toxins and cause out that urine. So if the kidneys are actually wrong, it tend to show in the urine. So there's some things you would see in the urinalysis, that urine analysis, that will say, oh, something's wrong with your kidneys. You understand? Or the nurse okay, do it, and then there's what they call a, um, a renal function test. Now, the kidneys help to regulate the acid-base um, balance of the blood and also the electrolytes in the blood. So if you do, an, if you do what we call a kidney function test, check, checks about um, four to five, no, I think five to six electrolytes, sodium, potassium, bicarbonate, chloride, urea, and creatine. If we check that, if they are within normal parameters, okay, they'll see you're good. If they, if they start showing some derangement, I mean, there are two that we tend to look at most often, urea and creatine. If they start, if it's a little above the normal, or is nearing the upper border of normal, so what is happening, you know, so. So how are we checking for this thing? Is it by, you, you said that do the urine, urine and, and blood. the blood. Yes. That's how they know something is wrong. I mean, earlier, I mean, to, I mean, the idea is to be prevent urea. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Urea and then what are the, the, okay. I was going to ask, what are the earliest symptoms? Because you've talked about the end stage, but there's some people who do not want to get to the end stage before seeking help. So for instance, for, if you're, if, when times we talk about cancer of the breast, we look at it, we see a little lump, quickly go and get it tested. It might not be anything, but it is safe to get it tested. Okay. What are the 
early stage symptoms, if any, that people should watch out for? Yes, it might be like you're being paranoid, but it's better to be safe than sorry. That's very true. So what are some of the things, even if it's just a broad indication, not to scare people out there, but to let people be aware of, you know, what's going on? Uh, what I did, what I tell. Like I said, um, kidney, kidney issues are... They're very scary, even to me as a doctor, because you, you really don't know till it's too late. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, uh, okay. Well, the one I'll tend to look out for is if you if you have if you pee and you notice that your urine is unusually foamy, that that's a telltale sign. So when it's when it's dark though, when it's thick and when, what when you say foamy, what do you mean by foamy? Uh, uh, like the foam on the lava. Yeah. You know? yeah. Oh, okay. Lava, yes. All right. How and foamy uh, must it be? Like thick, like plenty <laughs> soapy. <laughs> 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 no, it's true. No, but okay. You know, Kenny is funny enough. Funny enough. What, what, what makes the urine foamy is um, no, no. Truth is, when you do a urinalysis, a urine test, you should see trace amounts of protein. Now, if you, if the le level of protein in your urine is actually elevated. The urine tends to form. Okay. Now, the truth is, if, if, if for someone to have an elevated amount of, of protein in the urine, that means the filter as a kidney is leaking, because mm -hmm. kidneys should actually not release um, excrete that amount of protein. Do you understand? Now, funny enough, if you actually have a high protein meal, you could have that. You know, if your urine is concentrated, you could have. You know, so it's it's um it's not like I said, it's a telltale sign. It doesn't mean that you have a kidney problem. It's something that I mean, when you see that, go see a doctor. Okay, when we talk yeah. about kidney problems, what are the likely kidney diseases? I'm sure there should be more than one. Yeah, I know sometimes they'll tell you endless, there are stones in the kidney. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. The list is, the list is as broad as... Are there treatable ones? Because now we're yes. focusing on the, on, the, on, on the ones that, are, that can kill. How about, the, like, Olive mentioned kidney stones. These are ones that you don't need to have a transplant. No. You don't need to have a dialysis. So what are it the is. different levels of kidney problems that we have? Okay, let me, let me put it this way. Um, there is... Acute kidney injury. Yes. Acute is whatever caused the problem. It just happened. The kidneys mm -hmm. tend to, you know, shake a little. Some of them may need dialysis to, you know, remove the, the toxins and the kidneys tend to come back. Some of them in, they will resolve on their own. Then there's a chronic kidney problem. Now, chronic is that whatever caused the damage, take it. I mean, it, it, it's been ongoing for a long time. Like those are the ones that are kind of scary because you don't know until it's kind of too late. You know. Now for the acute ones, well, you said kidney stones. That's one. Um, I don't know, I'm wondering, because you know, there's so much in my head. Yeah. I'm trying to see how I can start listing all the, okay, glomerular nephritis, acute nephritic, you know, nephrotic syndrome, um, glomerular sclerosis, there are many. Um, now, even like I said, okay, drug nephropathy, there's IgA nephropathy, there is, um, where do I start from? All right, so let's talk mm -hmm. about kidney stones. Okay, no, 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 okay, sorry, you said, I think the one, you, your concern is, okay, well, what should I well, if I see, if I see, if I have these um, symptoms, yeah. that make me, you know, want to see a doctor. Yeah. yeah I think two came to mind because they're the common ones that we get to see. Good. Um, like I said, the kidney stones and one called polynephritis, that's an infection of the kidneys. Now, for some people that um, maybe they have an what we call the bladder outlet obstruction, they cannot, they don't. You know, I don't like to say hold P for too long, but some might have an infection in the bladder, so and they, it tends to track up to the mm. kidneys, so the kidneys get infected. Normally, the telltale signs best start having pain where the kidneys are located, or somewhere around the back here. All right, kidney stones. It could be anywhere, both from the kidneys all the way to the bladder. Or that it could be kidney stones. Sorry, it could be ureteric stones as in the ureter. It could be bladder stone. So anywhere the kidneys, anywhere the stones are found, you tend to have. Pain. How did the stone get there in the first place? Is it through our back alley? Okay, basically, stones are um, when you know, you know, the, the, this test we did in the secondary school where you put salt in water, then you keep adding salt so it, it no more dissolves, then it starts um, crystallizing. I think yeah. that, that's basically that's how it is. A few things can actually, the stones are made up of. Oh, it's just electrolytes, yeah. Yeah. oxalate, citrate, sodium, uric acid. So the truth is, when, when the urine is actually concentrated, they tend to crystallize. So that's when the nasty is saying, okay, um, and it doesn't make care of the kidneys, so you can drink a lot of water. water. I was oh, going oh, to oh. ask you the importance of water uh, when it comes to kidneys. Of course, water tends to dilute the urine and helps to make the kidneys flush them out, you know? I mean, what, I mean if, the, if, you, if your urine is concentrated for too long, it starts to extend the risk of having forming a stone, all right? Mm -hmm. Then, but if you drink enough water, you tend to pee a lot, your urine is actually um, I mean, the, the concentration or the one called the osmolarity is okay. Um, 
It's good. It's good. So basic day-to-day -day care for the kidney. What are the things yeah. people need to remember? You've mentioned diet with regards okay. to people regulating the type of meat they eat. You've mentioned um, those when you were talking about those who are hypertensive, exactly. they should take their medication. Exactly. What other things should the average person know when it comes to I care think, for the kidneys? I think the main thing is just to drink enough, drink enough water. You know, funny enough, as simple as that thing is, I mean, before I was, I, I mean, I, I sometimes I think I'm a victim to, you know, I default in that. Um, they say you should drink two to three liters of water daily. Uh, I know. That, that, that's um, I started last <laughs> week by having four bottles of water, and each bottle was 60 cl. In fact, I did okay. the conversion, so I needed to have three and a half bottles every day, and it's very difficult. We have a video, actually, okay. talking um, that would explain better what we're talking about. When we come okay. back, we'll be wrapping up here in the studio. Thank you. So, how well can you approve that video? What do you have to say about it? Uh, okay. Um, I think basically the idea is to eat um, as much fruits as you can. Mm. I don't think there are any... Um, I, would, I, would, I would use the word bad fruits, you know. I mean, the common ones in the market are actually good. So oranges, bananas, watermelons, we saw that. Like I said. Um, pi um, pineapple, pawpaw. Exactly, like uh, like I said, I mean, if someone if you see, if someone does a renal function test, and the person when, when we when we, call, when we can actually calculate what we call the estimated glomerular filtration rate, that's the rate at which the kidneys are filtering. If we, I mean the person is in a stage one, stage two, of course you can we can indulge in all of this. But if the person is in a stage three, four, we start to need to you know, cut down. If you're in stage five, you can't have all of that. So what what can you eat when you get to stage three, stage four, stage five? I mean, f food wise, or, or food wise, food wise. Oh no, no. We start, we start or what to, to avoid? I mean, we'll start telling you um, keep cut down on your protein intake. You know what I mean? Because the kidneys are really not. You don't stress the kidneys much. Now, but um, the, the truth is, um, you know, I I begin to have that problem. The textbooks we read were written by the whites, all right. Mm. So you can't compare their protein intake to we are permitting. I mean, how many times do you eat chicken in, in a week? On Sunday after <laughs> church. <laughs> How many times do you eat beans? You know, so they eat, when they want to eat chicken, they, they eat chicken. Yeah. So when when they say cut down on protein intake, we are, we are already We're not protein. We already <laughs> <laughs> understand. So you know, it's but we start need to actually cut down on all of that. Um, obviously, if like I said, whatever may have caused the problem, if it's diabetes, of obviously the rules we apply. You know, now if 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 I mean the the idea is whatever caused the kidney damage. Is to stop, you know, stop mm -hmm. it. If your person is a chronic, and um, has his chronic use of um, um, chronic painkillers, or maybe person had 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 
an infection that How about affected alcohol? the kidneys. alcohol? Because about alcohol, smoking, you know, habits like that. Yes, is... they, 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 they tend to affect the kidneys. I feel like more. alcohol but affects the liver much more the than the liver more, the exactly. But then there's what they call a the hepatorenal syndrome. So if the, where the, kid, the liver gets, has a problem and it Transfers. affects the kidneys. The kidney. the kidney can have a problem too and affect the liver. So, so they're all in the end, Yes, you know. Okay. They, they, don't, they, don't, they don't directly affect the, the kidneys, you understand, mm. but... Thank you so much for joining us here on Hello Nigeria. You said we should have this test once in six months. As much as possible. And you're from Kidney Solutions Limited. Do you have a social media handle? Yes, I think I get Okay, let us know. What's your social media handle? Okay, Instagram, David underscore MD. All right, David underscore MD on Instagram. That's David with a D-A-Y, V-double-E-D. All right, V-double-E-D. Is that how you spell your David? Yes, I spell my David. Oh, great. I know they're different um, yeah. spellings. No, but I mean, that's not I spell my David in for real life. But your certificate is <laughs> no. the normal it's, David. It's the original, oh, right. it's the original David. Mm, yeah. All right. Thank you All so right. much. We've been speaking with Dr. Okore Chukuka David. We'll go on a break. We hope that you've been able to learn enough to care for your kidneys and that you do not have incidences where they have to collapse or have some sort of disease. When we return from the break, it'll be time for us to wish you a happy birthday if you're celebrating today. To enjoy more of this, our Ubonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.